فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحوم كالطير تحلق في الثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير. You know sometimes you have pornography, which is a crime. It's terrible. It's horrible. It's something unacceptable. It has an impact. It impacts society at large. But do you know what? Sometimes in today's world, I have come across people who habitually forward dirty messages to their friends because morality has been degrading. And suddenly there are these wrong images. I'm not saying it's right. Wrong little video clips, dirty ones. And they begin to forward them. Number one, you are getting a major sin to have forwarded it. Number two, you are getting a major sin to have downloaded it or seen it or perhaps seen the whole of it. For example, you know, someone might have sent you something. You don't know what it is. You downloaded it. As soon as you see it's nonsense, astaghfirullah, turn it off. You, you, you know what? You know the astaghfirullah needs to be genuine. It must not be a fake astaghfirullah. You know what's a fake astaghfirullah? Do you want to hear about it? They say there was a man. And this is a, actually a true story. It happened, I won't mention the city or the place. There was a man, mashallah, he came, a, a bearded man, you know, and he came for some purpose to a city where he was not used to it. He comes from a city that was quite strict, you know. The women dressed very modestly in his city. So when he entered this one city where everyone's semi-naked and nude, you know, showing whatever they have. So he sees these legs and astaghfirullah, he looks away, you know, loudly. So the hosts are driving the car, they are wondering, what's he saying so loudly, astaghfirullah? He says, no, there was a woman there, you know, astaghfirullah, the way she was dressed, you know. Astaghfirullah. And after a little while, astaghfirullah again. After, astaghfirullah. And he kept on doing that the whole day. These people, they got used to it. Okay, whenever he sees this woman who is not dressed properly, he just says astaghfirullah and he looks away. That happened the first day. It happened the next day. It happened the second day. Whole day. So third day, what happens is, the man is in the car. And he's driving. So the driver, they got used to it. The driver saw something like that as well. So he says, Astaghfirullah. So the sheikh says, Where? Where? <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah forgive us. Where is Astaghfirullah? So when you delete things, you say Astaghfirullah, you must be genuine. You must be genuine. I say Astaghfirullah because I mean, Oh Allah, forgive me. That's what it's supposed to be. It's, it, it's not that... It's not that I'm just saying it for the sake of it. No, I mean, I mean it genuinely. So we delete those things. But if you see such a message in the phone, for example, of your spouse, investigate. Investigate, meaning, you know what? Don't jump to a conclusion. You could just break things. I'm not saying it's right. It's bad. It's wrong. It's very wrong. But at the same time, are you there to help or are you there to pick on someone? That's the question you need to ask. Are you there to help or are you there to pick some pick on them? If you are there to pick on them, you can pick on them now, even without that. Pick on anything. I don't like the way you talk, I don't like the way you look, I don't like your nose, your teeth also, even your tongue. I don't like it. You can pick on anything, your toes, whatever else. But if you're really there to help, you will be able to assist. Look, this is terrible. We don't want this to happen again, inshallah. You know, don't have friends like those. Tell your friends. That look, I don't want messages of this nature, whatever else. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us help, guidance and assistance.